Yeah, Justin, um, Coach had mentioned when we talked to him last week that you guys as a team had some kind of heart-to-hearts um, at the beginning of last week, just a lot of meetings. How do you feel like that really translated to you guys and what, what kind of was the message from the coaches? Um, I would say the message was to everybody be disciplined. We have to be disciplined on and off the field. Uh, the little things matter. Details matter. We have to execute those details to a T to be successful, especially with everything going on with COVID. We have to take everything seriously and we have to do everything the right way. Coach has two rules, do things right, do things right and be on time. And we have to execute that on and off the field, whether that be meetings, class, Zooms, everything. And so we're taking everything a little bit more serious here now that we see we can, any given uh, Saturday we can get beat. So we're gonna, take everything serious and come out each and every day to be as successful as possible individually and as a team. Do you think it was just a distraction of COVID and everything else that had been going on in the off season that, that led to you guys getting off track a little bit there? Um, I want to say that I think it's just we have we have to execute the little details. Uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't blame it on any certain thing. I just think we got we just get distracted sometimes or whatever that may be guys missing out on their assignment and I'm guilty of it too. So uh, we just, like I said, we got to go out, be detailed with our work, be detailed with our assignment and go execute it. Appreciate it, Justin. Thanks. No problem. Thank you. Kels. Hey, Justin, from what you've seen from Oklahoma, I mean, is their offense as explosive as ever this year? Um, I would say uh, OU definitely always has a great O-line. O uh, the O-line is one of the best in the nation. Uh, quarterbacks is – quarterback is always great. Link Riley has done a great job of recruiting those guys. Um, they, they're a solid team. Uh, unfortunately, they play a lower, lower-class team in Missouri State, so we have to go on that film and – we just got to go out there and execute our assignments and look at the details of what they want to execute schematically. And we got to go out there and execute our, our scheme to the best way possible we can. And it should be a good game and we should come out on top. And uh, following up on what John asked, have you seen a change since those meetings last week? Do you think everybody's been more focused and where they need to be? Absolutely. Uh, we as leaders and, cap and, and captains have uh, done a great job of, uh, saying enough is enough, uh, letting letting little things slide, letting little mistakes slide. We we have gonna we're gonna hold each other accountable, whether that be leaders to leaders, leaders to young guys. We're gonna do a great job of holding everybody accountable in this in this program, and we're gonna set a new a new tone for this program, and we're gonna start. It started last week Sunday. Scott Fritchin. Yeah, hey, Jim Ball. Um, it's rare that Kansas State is this big of an underdog. Oklahoma is favored by 28 points. Just what's your response to that? What kind of mentality do you guys need to bring to the field Saturday? Um, just like you said, an underdog mentality. We've been underdogs for most of the part I've been here, and, and I'm sick of it being an underdog. And I know we didn't prove it last Saturday what we can be, but – it's just a fuel to the fire being another underdog and being projected to be beaten so badly. So we're going to go out there and give OU our best shot each and every play, each and every down. We're going to go out there and physically be the best that we possibly can. And we just talked to Will Jones. What is it about Will Jones? What makes him a good player for you guys? Uh, Will Jones is smart, athletic, fast, quick, and he knows football. He's a great football player. He knows he has great instincts and knows where the ball is going to be before it even gets there. As you can see, he caught an interception last week and didn't even move. <laughs> so, like, uh, he's a smart player. He plays – me and him talk a lot because he, play, he plays nickel. Me and him communicate a lot. We just talk ball. And I can just – I know he he loves ball just because, just by the way I talk to him. And I, I love talking ball. So, <laughs> me and him talk a lot. Thank you. Good luck. Uh, thank you. Last one here, Adam Meyer. Justin, as a senior, you have plenty of experience playing against offenses like 
high powered like Oklahoma. As you prepare this week, what do you say to the younger defensive players that have never played a defense like Oklahoma before? Um, I would say the stage is never is never too big for you. The the play is never too big to be made by you. I would say go out there, do your assignment, and, and you're here for a reason. And anybody can make a play on any given Saturday. And so go out there, be calm about your work, be disciplined about your work, and mentally tell yourself that you can do it.